What's up guys and welcome back to another video It's been spoken about for months It's been not officially confirmed Until the other day when we heard that Sia Khaleesi was leaving Western province officially after 11 years Still no mention of where he's going until today, Wednesday the 17th of February Where he has signed his contract with the Sharks Exciting news for the Sharks, um, whether you like or hate the decision, it's happened. There's a lot of talk of how we're going to work this out because firstly, Sharks have already got so many systems in place. They are already the forwards in place that are, are there who have been chosen for their respective decisions. You've already got Captain Lukanyo Am who's already been quite a good captain for the Sharks. How is Steel Khaleesi going to adapt? What is he going to do differently? Um, how are they going to work him out? It almost reminds me of the situation that um, New Zealand rugby are kind of in with the All Blacks in itself. You've got Sam Kane and then you've got phenomenal other guys who could play 6, 7 and 8. Um, so it's, it's a little bit of a tough situation right now for the Sharks, but I'm sure they're going to work something out because he's been selected for a reason. Obviously, we know that there's deals with Rock Nation, which is his management company. There's also past friendships with MVM Holdings with one of the guys in charge there who was a big influence in Sia Khaleesi's scholarship to Gray High School in, in Port Elizabeth. So there's there's massive connections. I mean, it, the answers were all around us. And um, obviously with the situation with Western Province Rugby, I don't blame Sia for leaving because there's just so much drama and politics right now in Western Province. I mean, what's what's the point of continuing uh, there when they haven't even solved what the problem is with the management or who's talking, who's not talking, who's allowed to talk, who's not allowed to talk. There's so much drama in Western Province right now that I don't blame these players for leaving and I won't be surprised if more to follow Sia Khaleesi. But obviously, we know why Sia's gone. And also, Western Province have lost another big target, big person, big name brand. I mean, this MVM Holdings investment was situated for Western Province, but Western Province didn't sign on. They weren't quick enough. So they missed out on millions and millions of rands of investments within Western Province rugby, which is heartbreaking because it's something Western Province needs, I think, more than ever right now. So... But that's their own fault in management who couldn't control the situation. And now they have lost their Springbok head captain as well as Western Province and, and Stormers captain in Sia Khaleesi. And I, w I can only say I wish Sia all the best. Obviously, as a Shark supporter myself, I'm excited for the change. I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to see Sia in a, a Sharks jersey. I've seen him wear the black version of um, Stormers. But I'm not used to him in the black and white. So that's going to be interesting. But I'm sure he will take every opportunity that he gets and play to the best of his ability. Maybe having players that are already there would put Sia under pressure. You know, fight for your position. At the end of the day, we know he's going to be given a position, which is unfortunate for youngsters who are up and coming. But um, it just makes means he has to fight harder for his position. And rightly so. You know, we want in the Sharks camp for players to earn their positions and earn them correctly. So it's going to be a good fight, but I'm excited to see what Sia brings to the table for Sharks Rugby. I've, I've rated him highly. I know there's a lot of talk in the background of the whole political situation and I'm all for it. I'm with it. Um, certain things he said in the past I don't quite agree with, but I still rate him. He's a successful captain. He's a player who's achieved a lot in his career. And it's his story that needs to inspire and motivate um, others to go out there and achieve their dreams. So I hope for the sake of rugby that Sio Khaleesi does well. I hope for the sake of the Sharks he puts in an effort and uh, makes a change, makes positive changes that can benefit not only the team but the players. I mean, with his caliber and his resume, he can inspire so many youngsters within the academy itself to reach for their dreams and go for gold and achieve whatever they want to achieve so i see this as a positive departure i don't see this as what 
a lot of people are saying, oh, it's a sellout, he's only going for money, it's all that stuff. Of course he's going for money, guys. He spent 11 loyal years with Western Province. Can the guy have a break? We've seen so many blokes move overseas. We've seen so many guys do things differently. But Sears remained loyal to his country. He's remained loyal to South African rugby. For that, I give him full-on credit and earned, earns more respect. He could have hopped on a plane and gone overseas because there were offers there where he would have earned triple the amount that he's getting with the Sharks, which if, I don't even know what that amount is. So for those who are saying, oh, it's all for money, it's all for money. Yeah, rightly so. But he still remained loyal to South Africa. He's still sitting in his country, commercial or not, or whatever deal you may want. Western Province and Stormers are going down. And uh, why not leave when before the ship is sunk and, and go on and, and continue your career and also end it with the Sharks or overseas? So many guys are doing it. And I don't see us criticizing them as much as what we are a lot are doing to see us. So I think let's take a chill pull and see what the Springbok rugby captain has to offer um, and all that stuff. He says, and I quote, I bought into the vision of the Sharks immediately, the energy around the club, the management set up, the squad, and but the potential success was so strong. Agreed. I've, also, I've always had a desire to be the best and play with the best to reach my potential on and off the field. And this move is just another step in maximizing what I can achieve within my career. He goes on to say, this is a very exciting new chapter for me and my loved ones, and I am embracing fully. I arrive with the commitment to give this team everything I have, and I'm thankful to the Sharks for the opportunity. For that, I wish you all the best, Sia, and I hope you do not only yourself and your family and your fans, but the Sharks pride. You're one of my teams now, and I accept you with open arms. So let's go on and take over. The world of Rainbow Cup as well as Curry Cup and Super Rugby Unlocked and all that jazz. Come on, Sharks. That's going to do it for today's video. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thanks so much for watching. Stay safe and never give up. Cheers.